kingdom protista all single celled eukaryotes are placed under protista but the boundaries of this kingdom are not well defined what may be a photosynthetic protistian to one biologist may be a plant to another in this book we include chrysophytes dinoflagellates euglenoids slime molds and protozoans under protista members of protista are primarily aquatic the kingdom this kingdom forms a link with the other dealing with plants animals and fungi being eukaryotes the protistian cell body contains a well defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelles some have flagella or cilia protistans reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving a cell fusion and zygote formation next chrysophytes this group includes diatoms and golden algae also known as desmids they found in fresh water as well as in marine environments they are microscopic and float passively in water currents plankton and most of them are photosynthetic in diatoms the cell walls form a two thin overlapping shells which fit together as in a soap box the walls are embedded with silica and thus the walls are indestructible diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposits in their habitat this accumulation of a billion of years is referred to as a diatomaceous earth being gritty this soil is used in polishing filtration of oils and syrups and diatoms are chief producers in the oceans next 2.2.2 it is known as dinoflagellates next these organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic they appear yellow green brown blue or red depending on the main pigments present in their cells the cell wall has stiff cellulosic plate on the outer surface most of them has two flagella one lie longitudinally and other one often transversely in a furrow between the wall plates very often red dinoflagellates example gonulax undergo such rapid multiplication that they make the sea appear red red dots toxin released by such large number may even kill other marine animals such as fishes next 2.2.3 euglenoids majority of them are freshwater organisms found in stagnated water instead of cell wall they have a protein rich layer called pellicel which makes their body flexible and they have two flagella a short and a long one they are photosynthetic in presence of sunlight when deprived of sunlight they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms interestingly the pigment of the euglenoids are identical to those present in the higher plants example euglena you can see in the beside picture here it is euglena next slime mold it this is a picture of the slime mold slime molds are saprophytic protist the body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing organic material under suitable conditions they form an aggregation called plasmodium which may grow and spread over several feet during unfavorable conditions the plasmodium differentiate and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips the spores possess true walls and they are extremely resistant and survive for many years even under adverse conditions the spores are dispersed by air currents next protozoan all protozoans are heterotrophs and lives as a predator or parasites they are believed to be primitive relatives of animals they are four major group of protozoans the amoeboid protozoans these organisms live in fresh water sea water or moist soil they move and capture 
and beside you can see the paramecium example of a protozoan they move and capture their prey by putting out spudopodia it is also known as false feet as in amoeba marine forms have silica cells on their surface some of them such as anatomoeba are parasites next flagellated protozoans the members of this group are either free living or parasitic they are they have flagella the parasitic form causes diseases such as sleeping sickness example trypanosoma next ciliated protozoans they are aquatic actively moving organisms because of presence of thousands of cilia they have cavity called gullet that opens to the outside of the cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water laden with the food to be stirred with into the gullet example paramecium next sporozoans this includes diverse organisms that have infectious spore like stage in their life cycle the most nutritious is plasmodium a malarial parasite which causes malaria a disease which has staggering effect on human population